Welcome back. This time we're talking about Edge of Seventeen, a film about one of the largest phenomena known to exist in nature, the self-absorption of a teenage girl. I'm joking. Not really. This is a film from Kelly Freeman Craig, who makes her directorial debut based on her own script, and stars Haley Steinfeld, Woody Harrelson, and Kara Sedwick. This is a coming-of-age story of sorts following a high school junior named Nadine, played by Steinfeld, whose life is already not the best. She's pretty much an outcast. She's very socially awkward. And she's honestly not the nicest person to be around. But she does have one really good friend. Unfortunately, that friendship is fractured when she discovers that her friend is now dating her brother, further isolating her from her peers and her family. Now, I'm a fan of these types of stories, and there have been some really good films in the last few years focusing in on awkward teenagers, such as The Perks of Being a Wallflower, as well as this year's Sing Street. Now, the big risk that Craig does with this film that those other movies did not is she is not afraid to make her character rather unlikable for large stretches of this movie. As I joked about at the beginning, she is very self-absorbed. All of her problems are the worst problems they could be. No one understands her. And every minor slight is taken to the extreme. Now, the beauty of this film is that Steinfeld's performance, combined with Craig's writing, always keeps Nadine, even when she's at her worst, completely relatable. So even when we don't agree with what she's doing, we understand it. And that can be said for all of the other characters as well, because no one is ever 100% in the right or in the 100% in the wrong. The script never takes the easy route by making any one character the villain. Take her mother, for example, played by Kara Sedwick. Is she the best mother? No. But we can see at times where she's trying. And when she does lose her patience, sometimes it's well-deserved. Other times, we can see that she's not making the right decisions. So, sometimes Nadine is in the right, sometimes she's not. And that makes for a much more compelling story than if they had relied on someone just being bad so we can root against them. And as I mentioned, Steinfeld's performance is great. I mean, she basically burst into the scene in 2010 with the Coen Brothers' True Grit. She was nominated for an Academy Award at age 14. Unfortunately, she really hasn't been given much great material since then. She's had some supporting roles. She's had some lead, lead roles in some smaller films. But this is the first time since True Grit that I really felt that she got a script that played to her strengths. The other standout is Woody Harrelson, who plays Nadine's rather sarcastic teacher. And like a lot of the other characters, he's kind of easy to peg in the first act. But as the story goes along, we find out there's a lot more to him. Now, the one character who does draw the short straw as far as development goes is Nadine's friend Krista, played by Haley Lou Richardson. We do get some of her backstory in an extended flashback sequence in the first act, when Nadine recounts how she became friends with her. Unfortunately, that does not extend into the present, and we never really learn much about her, even though she is essentially the catalyst for a lot of what happens in this movie. Instead, she basically becomes someone for our other characters to react to, which is a pretty big disappointment considering how well the other characters were developed. And ultimately, my only real big knock to this movie, because I actually really enjoyed this. As a fan of the genre, I think it's a great film. It's got great performances, interesting characters, and as I said earlier, it is willing to take risks taking the story in directions that similar films really haven't, or at least not as successfully. Now my one warning is, is if you've seen the trailers, the, at times it does look like it's kind of one of those snarky, witty comedies. I would say instead it's more of a quite funny drama. So just be sure that you go in with the right expectations, but if you do so and it's something that you're looking forward to, with those correct um, expectations, I think you're going to come out enjoying it. Now, if you've seen Edge of Seventeen, let me know what you thought about it. Comment below. As always, you can subscribe to my channel, check out some of my other reviews, and until next time, I'll see you at the movies.